Hey, the cornerstone of our existence is the foundation on which all areas of our lives are established. So it is not because of our names, our statuses, or our professions, but the very essence of who we are, what we believe, what our passions are, where our strengths lies, our dreams, our weaknesses, and purpose. They're all wrapped up in our identity. Let's talk again. So welcome back to Motivations and Memoirs. My name is Iverica. This is your first time. My prayer for you this week is that it will be filled with a soul stirring that will propel you into an awakening, an awakening of discovering your purpose-driven life. So my thought this week is the masterpiece in you. Now, remember last week I shared with you about a writing or a quote from Dr. Miles Monroe that says, you are a masterpiece crafted with intention, endowed with gifts, talents, and abilities that are uniquely yours. So yes, I know you have guessed that. We're still focusing on ourselves. But you know, as I, as I thought back to Jeremiah, and the fact that he was called by God and he was ordained from he was in his mother's womb. But there came a time when Jeremiah got so perturbed and frustrated and fed up and literally wanted to throw in the towel. But then when he went and, and said, I'm done with this, the Bible says he felt like fire shut up within his bones. And so he had to get up and just continue because guess what? The masterpiece that God created us to be that very person who has been uniquely designed. Now, a masterpiece is an outstanding work of art. Somebody with great skill and good workmanship, right? So, yes, a reminder that you are his masterpiece. And so sometimes you feel like you just don't want to do it. But guess what? Ephesians 2 and verse 10, Paul reminds us that we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works which God has prepared before we were born. And so as a masterpiece, we were created with artistry. However, we were crafted with intention. And so my friends, the word workmanship comes out, right? And it means that God's greatest masterpiece of creation is in us. We're God's greatest masterpieces that were crafted intentionally in other words, we're custom made. We're carefully designed for a purpose. And so somebody might say, how do I focus on me being the masterpiece when I'm not even sure why I am here? I don't even know what to do. And I want you to understand that this takes a shift in our mindset, a shift where we take responsibility for our own lives, where we create the realities that we desire according to the will of God. It is moving from the mindset of being a victim of circumstances to a mindset of being empowered, where you no longer see yourself as the victim controlled by the external forces, but where you walk in the knowledge that the power of choices lies within you. So you become proactive instead of reactive. It's a mindset of accomplishing purpose. And remember guys, that purpose is the reason why we were carefully crafted. Purpose is the driving force behind all that we do. It is focusing on purpose that keeps us less distracted by the failures of or the successes of others. We're driven by a deep sense of mission, a mission that will keep us in the path of accomplishing that which we know we were here for. And so it takes introspection and self-discovery where we look into ourselves and, and discover or rediscover our passions, our strengths, our talents, and see how they align with the world. In other words, how can I help to shape the next generation? What can I do to make things better? Guys, no one can fulfill your purpose. No one else can walk in your path and no other person can live your life. You can run, but you certainly can't hide. 
ask David, because he tried. When you look in Psalms 139, from verse 1 to 6, it seemed as if David was just deciding that, listen to me no man, I go and do my own thing, right? And then in verse 7, when he realized that he was backed in a corner by God and he could not escape, he said, where can I hide from your presence? If I ascend unto the heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, you are still there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there, thy hand shall lead me and thy right hand shall hold me. Guys, we can run, but we certainly can't hide. Focusing on yourselves will allow you to discover that masterpiece that lies within you. And when you have discovered that masterpiece, you will also understand that you're not here for yourself, but there is greatness in you. And because there is greatness in you, you will need to showcase the gifts and the talents. You will need to establish now that purpose, that thing for which you were created. Whatever God had in his mind for you to do. And God, as you guys, as you go out, I want you to remember you are the masterpiece. A masterpiece that was crafted intentionally by God. And so go out, establish your purpose as you continue to focus on yourselves. What good. See you next week. God bless.